I no longer have McDonald's money, Leia. Not anymore. I was put on my own, that's the way it was. That's the way it was. Grandma. Hey, Lachey Babs, it's my Lachey. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys go down and hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not new, then welcome back. Make sure you guys check me out on my social media because if you don't have me on my social media, the baby girl, what are you doing with your life? You're doing nothing, obviously. So, I am back with our first vlog of June. I told you on my last vlog that I was going to be doing a vlog every day of June, period. So, this is daily vlog point one, okay? So, today I actually am on the way to a doctor's appointment. I have to go to the cardiologist because um, remember I was having those chest pains. I ended up having to get a 24-hour EKG and I was having some heart palpitations or whatever. So I got an appointment with my cardiologist because I really want to figure out exactly what the meanings and stuff mean that they put on my mind chart because they really didn't explain nothing. If I'm being honest with you, I hate how close that y'all have to be since I have to vlog my camera because I mean since I have to vlog my phone because my camera's broken. So yeah. I'm on my way to drop Leia off at my mom's. I packed us a little breakfast, you guys. I packed three cuties because I'm going to have two. Leia's going to have one. We love, well, Leia really loves these cheese sticks. And I've been starting to love them too because I'm like, I don't know, it's just a cute little good snack. Give you some calcium or whatever, you know. And then um, blackberries and a whole banana but i split it in half for us this way you want your banana but i've been doing this because i've been doing this because if i don't pack something to eat or eat breakfast before i leave i'm going to go to starbucks or i'm going to go and buy us some food like I'm so tired of spending money on fast food and I'm so tired of freaking eating out every day when I have food at home like we have fruit at home like yesterday I made us one of these and we have blackberries strawberries bananas oranges cheese you know what I'm saying but we ran out of strawberries today but we have fruit I mean if you want if you want me to be honest with you Leia ate all the strawberries for a snack last night before she went to bed but we have food at home that we can eat. Like, I'm not about to keep on buying food. We got food at home. Like, I'm cooking dinner tonight, baby. We got food at home. I do not have McDonald's money. I no longer have McDonald's money, Leah. Not anymore. Okay? Got to buy a new camera. I got to buy a new laptop. I don't have McDonald's money no more. I no longer have McDonald's money. I don't have it. Yeah. It, it doesn't exist. <laughs> we eating at home. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ain't no more wasting money, sis. Eat McDonald's and stuff every day. I don't have to time for that. But seriously, I have really just been trying to cut out fast food in general. Not saying I'm never going to eat it again. But I'm just trying to eat more clean. And when I say clean, I mean like stuff made at home. Stuff that you buy in a grocery store. Not processed food. Which we really don't know what's processed, but we know for sure that McDonald's, Burger King, which I don't even eat Burger King, but you know, stuff like that, that's processed. Like, it's all processed food. It comes to the location in a package, period. Like, it comes, like, even like at Chick fil A, y'all know I used to work at Chick fil A. It comes in a bag, a plastic bag. They're not back there making it from scratch, they just put it in the oven and put cheese on it. <laughs> like, literally, it's all processed. We don't know how they're making that in the warehouse. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I... Hey, yeah, I got one lawyer, got one in that day. The only two. Bro, this shirt is unzips. It unzips all the way down. Why the fuck? The whole shirt just pop open. Did and everything. Oh my god. And then I'm struggling trying to zip it back up. I'm embarrassed. These little pretzels I put on are cute.
I really can't believe that just happened to me though. I'm embarrassed. I think it's level five. I cannot believe my whole shirt just bust open like that. Like, and it was people right there in the garage and I'm struggling trying to zip it back up. My whole boobs was out. There right away, it's because he was in the calf lab this morning. Okay, you're Hopefully, it won't be too long. Okay, and I got your yes. And the last four of the main phone number. Okay, I think we're all set. They'll be out to get you hopefully in a little bit. Okay, I got Kai food going back. All right, so now I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in. I got my heart rate, they took an EKG. All that stuff, you know, took my weight and all that. Now I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in, and I don't know what he's gonna say, or I don't know. I'm gonna update y'all though after I leave. Big old booty, I ripped the paper though. Lord have mercy, booty so big. <laughs> I ripped that paper, baby. <laughs> Why is your ah? Oh yeah, I got an EKG. Gotcha, 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 yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's how. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the way how these things started was you went and saw. What type of work do you do? I have a um, online business, and then I'm also a content creator. What creator? A content creator on like social media. Well, what creator? Tell me. A content creator. Content creator? Yes. So uh, what is a content creator? <laughs> a content creator is basically like a person who makes videos on social media. Ah. So like I do like. Show, show, show me all the videos which you've done. All right, y'all, so it is 12.18 right now, and my doctor wants me to do a stress test so that he can, like, check my heart and stuff. Basically, he was saying pretty much what's going on with my heart. He was like, if we was at, like, a basketball game and it was 60,000 people in there, he was like, 25% of the people, if everybody had on a heart monitor, 25% of the people will be having the same stuff going on with their heart that's going on with mine. I don't know why mine is doing this, just because, like just like on the everyday basis but he pretty much said like what's going on in my heart is not anything that's like extremely major or anything he said my heart is really fine as long as this stress test comes back good but i love my doctor this is my first time actually seeing him in person he's really so cool he's asked me what i did for a living and stuff like that obviously to see like why i might be having these issues and he was like uh I told him I was a content creator on social media, whatever. He's like, what's that? I was like, basically, you know, like bloggers and stuff like that. I told him that I make videos on social media and I also have my own business. And see, he was like, show me one of your videos. I'm like, oh my God. Because I like, I'm still like, I've been doing YouTube for like seven years now. And I still be so like shy when like being in the same room as somebody watching a video with me. But I pulled up a vlog or whatever. He was like, you got 37,000 views on that video. And he was like, oh my God, you have 170,000 followers. I was like, yeah. Because I'd be like, so like, I don't know. I don't care what nobody say. I'd be like, so like regular smegular girl from the Bronx okay like I just be like yeah like yeah because it's nothing like that's nothing major to me like even if I had a million subscribers no like I'd be grateful like but I'm not gonna be like oh yeah I got this many followers I do this I no, I'm not like that um but he was like so he gave me a pound he was like that is great he was like, I'm proud of you he was like um you know he was like wow that's really great he was like I now I can tell people that I have a uh <laughs> i have a patient that does this or whatever he was so funny and anyways um he was just really so cool he got me in for a stress test today he called over there himself and got him got me in for a stress test because he was like if i don't get it today they're gonna try to have me wait like a whole month so 
he was like he don't even want me stressing about that so he got me in for today they're on break right now but i'm gonna go back at one o'clock right now it is 12 20 so i'm about to just sit in my car that's the good part about um vlogging and using my phone is that i can literally sit in my car and get work done um i mean i can do that on my laptop but the phone is more convenient but don't get me wrong i can't wait to get my camera back and i can't wait well i'm gonna give me a different camera but i'm gonna give me a new camera and i can't wait to get my laptop because i don't know when i have those things it does make it feel more like legit like okay i'm working even though i'm working on my phone but i don't know it just it feels different but um yeah so i'm about to go ahead and edit this video i was waiting on him to come in the room for like 30 minutes he was running behind but I'm, it's cool excuse me i um just occupied myself by editing like half of the vlog that y'all seen before this one but yeah girl so i'm about to go ahead and edit and i just seen jada Jone just actually posted a video so i might watch her video and edit too after that girl i need to put some lip gloss on but who cares not me because right now i really don't care um i'm sitting here editing the last few minutes of the vlog that y'all seen before this one no wait no that was two vlogs ago i'm editing the video that y'all seen a couple vlogs ago so i just oh well whatever so i'm in chick-fil-a i'm starving now because it is literally 1 56 it's almost two o'clock and all i ate was that half of a banana them two cutie oranges and some blackberries and cheese and that was like a few hours ago and i'm hungry so i'm at chick-fil-a then i'm about to pick leia up and your girl just needs something to eat. I need some chicken tenders. Huh, I really want some mac and cheese. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. Excuse me. And my cycle just ended. So I get really bad, like, cravings when I'm on my cycle. So I'm about to give me this shit for, like, mac and cheese, period. Who gonna do something about it? Nobody. Okay? Nobody. Y'all gotta get the frosted coffee from Chick-fil-A. I get it with half of the original amount that they put in there because y'all know I'm not a real big coffee person. But it's literally just coffee and ice cream because y'all know I used to work at Chick-fil-A. But girl, when I tell you that that thing busts, I'm not even a coffee person. But girl, it's the frosted coffee and I get it with half of the amount of the original amount of coffee. Which I feel like they still put a little bit too much in there today. For one, when you get it with half the amount, it's thicker too. Like, oh my God. It gives what it's supposed to. Make sure y'all try that frosted coffee at Chick-fil-A. y'all it didn't started raining like really raining now i as y'all can see in the last clip i went to the grocery store just to get a couple things i need some strawberries some blackberries i got some stuff to make stuffed chicken for dinner tonight um and then what else did i get i needed to get some windex because every time i go to the grocery store or just order groceries or whatever on instagram i keep forgetting to get windex and the past couple times i didn't cleaned up your girl ain't had no Windex. So literally like my table in my living room, my center table, my mirror in my room, like I need some Windex. So um, I need to get some Windex. So I just went to the store to grab a couple things. I just picked up Leia from my mom's and now we are about to, well, we're on our way home now. And it is pouring down. And now I'm like, every time I go to the store by myself, even though it's not a lot of stuff, but I got myself some flowers. So I got like four or five bags and it's like, it is raining and i gotta land so now i gotta park in the garage and it's just oh annoying because my garage is not in my building i really need to call matter of fact i'm about to call and see how far i am from the wait list because like a couple months ago i was number two on the wait list so i really should have a garage in my building by now also to give you an update on everything i took a stress test where like i basically go on the treadmill and they just check my heart and um they like give me fast pace with incline and stuff like that and they said everything looked good so I guess um, my heart just kind of fluctuates. It could be due to stress or anxiety, but it's nothing like super major wrong with my heart. But I'm gonna see y'all when I get home because I know y'all probably can't hear me that good because it's raining. 
So I bought these roses at Kroger. They was like $10. They really should have been on sale for like $5 because they kind of like dead, but it's okay. I think I can bring them back to life. So I seen this video on TikTok that said if you put ice in the vase or whatever, and then you put the little um, flower package that goes in there, obviously cut your stems off of the flowers, then it makes it last longer. So we're going to see. So I put my ice in there and then I'm going to put, actually, let me put my flower package in there first. So this is like the flower food that comes with like, you know, the flowers or whatever. I Really, I always put this in here, but um, the ice, I guess, is supposed to, I don't know, make it last longer. I've seen it on Instagram, so I'm like, I'm going to try it because I'm always buying flowers to put on the side of my couch in my living room. So I put that in there. I'm just about to be a little ghetto and mix it up with my scissors that I just cut my stems off with. So I already cut down the stems on the flowers and we're about to, oh wait, actually I'm also supposed to take out some of these leaves because I guess it like, I don't know, it makes it die faster. So I'm going to take off some of these leaves. To be honest, no wonder the flowers die so fast in the store because ain't no way all these leaves was in this freaking one little dozen of roses. Like, girl, that's ridiculous. So I like to use this little side table and I like to put my flowers right there. These are a little old, but it's all right. Who are you talking to? Talking about you stepping on my charger. They look old, but it's all right. They still look pretty cute right there or whatever. Hopefully, they can come a little bit back to life when the sun comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you'll live tomorrow, period. Okay, so I'm about to make a super easy um, meal. I'm literally just about to make some stuffed chicken breast. I already made some rice. I literally just used like five minute rice out of the um, bag that's already pre-cooked and I made that chicken rice on the stove it's already done so now I'm about to just make my um, stuffed chicken so I'm about to use my cream cheese which I've been having sit out since we went to the store you want it to be soft and then I'm going to use some mild cheddar with that and then I'm also going to use spinach I'm obviously going to rinse my spinach and stuff and then I'm going to use these seasonings I'm going to use my creole seasoning because I like it to be a little bit spicy um, just a little bit because obviously Leia is eating this season salt, pepper, and then I like to also use the chicken bouillon. This is the only kind I could find when I bought it, so this is the kind I'm using. It basically just gives it like more of a chicken flavor. This is literally like what they use in like ramen noodle chicken flavor stuff. So yeah, that's the seasonings and that's literally the stuffing for the chicken breast. I'm going to split my chicken breast open and then fill it and I am going to sear it on the stove before I put it in the oven. I used to just put it right in the oven, but I feel like it gives it like a little bit more crispiness if you sear it on the stove first. So yeah. <laughs> You want 